Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to manually update your stock firmware on Pixel phones. It can be a Pixel 2, Pixel 1, Pixel 3, Pixel 4, Pixel 4 XL, Pixel 3a. Now there's an easier method called Flash.Android that you can use the web browser to do it. Now the problem with that is sometimes you can end up in a boot loop and you'll have to revert back to this method here. This is a much faster manual method of doing it since you're manually doing it, but let's go ahead and take a look. Hi guys, so I've got the Pixel 2 here and I want to install uh, the latest Android 10 and I've got a custom ROM running and I'm gonna go ahead and power off and put it into uh, basically fast boot mode which is power and volume down key like that and you'll be in fast boot mode. This is the same for all the Pixel phones. Now if you're in a boot loop, what you can do uh, while it's, let's say this is in a boot loop, you're gonna hold down power off and volume down I right, keep holding it down until your phone resets and it will actually go back into fast boot mode. All right, so long as you can get back into fast boot mode, you can use this method to unbrick your phone, install the stock firmware. All right, so two different ways. One was power off and volume down and power. And the other one was if you're in a boot loop, uh, power down, uh, power, and it will, phone will reset in about 10, 15 seconds and you'll come to a the fast boot mode. Go ahead and connect it to your computer. Next, you're going to go ahead and open a browser, Chrome browser, or whatever browser you want to use. Um, and you're going to go ahead and type Pixel Firmwares. And you'll come to the factory images for Nexus and Pixel devices. By the way, this will work also on Nexus devices. I just didn't mention it because I don't know if any of you guys are actually using such an old phone. But I may have some instructions on that too. Now, if you go scroll down, you'll see the contents come up on the right. So go ahead and choose the right one. I have a Pixel 2. And I'll be installing the latest Android 10, the absolute latest version. All right, the reason I'm not installing Android 11, uh, in order to install GSI images, right now you can't do it with Android 11. So I'm gonna actually install the latest 10 here. The flash method is easier. I'll have another tutorial on it. If I have made it, I'll put the link in the description. Try that method first because it's a lot easier. You just click and you just let the web browser do the work. But like I said, you can end up in a boot loop where your phone doesn't boot after you do this. So if that happens, then you'll want to manually do it. So hit the link key here. You'll also need fastboot.zip. Go ahead and download at download.highonandroid.com. Go to tools and go click on fastboot.zip and download link is here right here download here and click here to download and go ahead and download that i've already downloaded that so i'm going to cancel that out and the firmware is almost downloaded now this will work on any android pixel phones google pixel phones um this will work on whether rooted or not rooted all right once downloaded go ahead and click on the file and extract all files All right, while that's doing, also go ahead and unzip fastboot.zip. Same thing, double click, extract all. And you'll get a folder called fastboot, all right, with all the files you need. Now, once both files have an unzip, you'll get a fastboot folder with all the files you need. And you'll get a firmware folder. All right, mine is a walleye, blah, blah, factory, blah, blah. And inside it, you'll find all the files you need. Now, we need to add fastboot in here. So go to downloads, go to fastboot, and go ahead and copy all of it. Do a right click copy, go back to your downloads folder, go ahead and find the firmware folder, walleye, blah, blah. All right, it might be a different name if you're using a different type of pixel. And where all these files are, flash all, blah, 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 you're gonna go ahead and do right click and paste. All you're gonna do is click on flash dash all dot bat. Now make sure you have Android ADB uh, drivers installed. If you don't have it installed, go ahead and install drivers. But go ahead and double click and this will actually do the work for you. If you get a Windows error, don't worry. Uh, it just, it's completely safe. I've done it about a million times it's straight from Google uh, and you can see the phone going off and it's going to reboot a few times basically right now it just flashed the bootloader reboot it every time you try to flash a new thing it's got to reboot for a clean flash uh, it's booted uh, and flashed the radio and then reboot reboot it again and then it's uh, booted the boot.img which is your kernel all right and then reboot it and install DTBO uh, VV Meta, all right, which is uh, for your boot verification. And then it's now it's finally flashing system. 
Now, if at any time of this thing you get an error, then you'll know exactly what went wrong. Now, the problem with the flash tool from Android, sometimes things break, sometimes things don't flash like they were intended to, although it works you know, eight out of 10 times great. Uh, but yesterday I got in a boot loop while I was trying to upload um, update through the flash tool uh, and basically end up in a boot loop. So I had to actually manually update my Pixel 3 XL and then it works fine after that. Um, so the manual method is recommended because with the web browsing method, um, you can get into problems because you're still going through the web and it's a lot slower uh, because, it's, because it's a web browser. Whereas you're do doing it on your computer, it's more secure. Um, you're not gonna have a problem like your internet dies suddenly, then you know, you're not gonna be able to flash it completely or you, you'll get an error and you know, it might mess it up. So this is actually a much safer method. Um, it just takes a couple more downloads and um, basically copying over Fastboot. Now, if you are using uh, Mac or Linux, you can still do it also, but you'll have to most likely get into the command line. And if you go into the, the firmware file, basically I'll put the commands you have to put. Basically you have to open the terminal, go to CD download, CD to this directory, CD to this directory. And if you don't know how to CD into directories, uh, watch my tutorial. I have one for Win uh, Windows, but it should be similar, pretty much the same with Linux or Mac for seeding into a directory. Learn that, open a, a terminal or command prompt, I'll go into this directory, and also copy over these files before. And you're gonna do chmod uh, space 755 star, um, and enter. And I'll put the commands there, but uh, it's done. You might, it might say you got an error, that's fine. Just exit and just go ahead and hit start on your phone. And most of the time it'll just boot just fine. All right. Now that error is just from my bootloader unlocked. If you have a unrooted device, then you will not see the error. It's not an error, it's, it's a warning message. And if you still end up in a boot loop, then you'll wanna do a data wipe and that will fix everything. And I'll show you how to do that too. Uh, most likely you should boot it right, right into it. So while that's booting, let me go ahead and explain for a uh, Mac or Linux user. So chmod space 755 space star. You're gonna change the permissions of all the files. And then you're gonna just do dot slash flash dash all dot sh. All right. And you may have to rename fastboot dash Mac to actual fastboot uh, or fastboot dash Linux to uh, fastboot. All right. Anyway, it is done. As you can see, I'm in back on Android, latest Android 10 from whatever I was in. The reason I'm doing this because Android 11, uh, it wouldn't let me install GSI ROMs. So this way I was able to actually install GSI ROMs. So Android 11 still does not support um, these GSI ROMs yet. And uh, it's a big problem because there's no system partition. There's like a data meta metadata partition now. So. Um, it's sort of making everything harder. And you can see I'm back on stock firmware. Now this method will erase everything on your phone. Uh, if you don't want to erase it, you can also edit the fast uh, flash all bat dot bat and get rid of fastboot dash w update to fastboot space update. Um, it's just edit it with text editor and you can save it and that will prevent it from losing data. About phone and you can see I got Android 10. Boom shakalaka. Now you could be in a, a boot loop right now. Let's imagine you're in a boot loop. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna clear data by holding down volume down and power. All right, let's say you update it uh, without d uh, deleting data. Then you're gonna go ahead and let it reset, power up and volume down. And when it resets, it's gonna go back into fast boot mode. Let it go, all the buttons. And you're gonna go ahead and choose recovery mode and hit the power key. And here you can actually delete your data. So what you're gonna do is uh, power up and basically the volume up key. Wait, wait, wait until it's actually in stock recovery. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit power and volume up and you should be in this menu. If you don't get it, just keep trying. And you're gonna do a wipe data factory reset and factory data reset. And this will wipe everything and reboot and you should be on your merry way to uh, having a fully restored Pixel phone. Anyway, that's how you do it. 
Hey, you guys hit the thumbs up. Next time your phone gets stuck in the boot loop, maybe you use the flash tool and you end up in a boot loop. You flash the wrong ROM, you end up in a boot loop. Whatever the case, this will help you solve all your pixel problems. You might not need it now. If you have a pixel phone and you're rooting, installing custom ROMs, just bookmark this video so you can come back to it later. Have a great day. And as always, stay home.